that things go on day the day. But we didn't let you guys see it, okay? So use us for content. We decided to do other things out that trolls, hater channels. Yeah, I didn't have much. Y'all didn't have so y'all didn't get that today. Jail, okay. I had a pleasant stay. They treated me real well. They treated me pretty good, I have to say. Tatum County, the police, they were nice to me on the ride. They were nice to me at the jail. Nobody was ever that mean. Now, there's a lot of hating ass people out there, okay? So there was a little bit of stuff went down today at the DA's office. A little bit of stuff went down at the courthouse today. Also, we had a meeting with a couple of the sergeants of the Chatham County Police Department today, right up under the main guy. So we had a little chat with them. And as you can see, Okay, I'm back. It seems like they're trying to violate some constitutional rights down here in Georgia, making it kind of hard for people to protest. Okay, now you know your constitutional rights give you right to protest. So they're trying to say that it's these statues that you can't gather without a permit. Okay, but there ain't no statute that says you can't go out there by yourself. Okay, stand feet apart. I don't know you. You don't know me. We ain't together. Okay, we just happen to be in the same location at the same time. Okay, and of course you can't stop people like the media. You can't stop people from walking down the street. You can't do any of that. Okay, and you can't loiter. Right there from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Okay, at night. You can't stand in front of their house. And it's only in front of their house. So you can stand three feet past the sign and still scream the same shit. Okay. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. You just can't do it directly in front of their house. Right. That's what the sergeants came out and said. From this sign to this sign, you can't loiter. Okay. Anywhere else, you can do whatever you want. But the sign is right at their house. Right. So what good does that really do? Okay. If you stand on this side of the sign, you ain't loitering. And you can, it's only effective in between the signs. I looked at it, I was like, that makes sense. Okay, this is Georgia. Okay, this is Georgia, people. No loiter in between these two signs. Anywhere else in the state of Georgia, you can loiter. Okay, you can you can assemble anywhere else that you want. It's not here. Okay, I don't know what constitutional laws they read here in Georgia, but that ain't how shit works. That ain't really how things work. You know what I'm saying? You can say that until you get in a court of law, and then they go, well, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You might be able to ticket people and find them for them, but ain't no judge going to prosecute you for that. It violates your constitutional rights. This country, I can walk down any street, stand on any street corner I want. Any public easement, breezeway, walkway, by myself, I can stand anywhere I want. Okay, maybe I can say, well, if I gather to a certain amount of people. Now, I don't know exactly the law in uh, Georgia, but I will know it by tomorrow. Okay, because in Virginia, the only time you need a permit to gather or 80 more people. Okay, for all you people that are out there digging up shit, look at Virginia law. You can gather up to 80 people without a permit. Now, I haven't checked to see what the number is here in Georgia that you can gather to without a permit, but I'm sure it's at least 20 plus, okay? If not, you would have to shut, shut down all these little churches, right? And they don't. So you had the right to gather to a certain amount of people. Now, I don't know the exact law in Georgia, but I will track it down. I will look up the code. I will look up what is considered their gathering laws here, and you base it on that. Are they going to start stream sniping you again? No. They will never be able to stream snipe me again. Not live. They won't ever be able to do it again. I'm pretty confident of that. So I don't have to worry too much. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. So like I said, hey, PJ. So like I said, they said, this is, they said, you can't gather in groups. You can go out there, okay? You can't get, the whole gathering thing is, we got to look up the law on the gathering. Also, loitering, like, but only from certain hours, from 7 p.m. on. Okay, so really, they ain't changed much. All they did was took three hours away from the protesters, right? If protesters don't know each other, you're not gathering. Okay, if you didn't plan on going out there with anybody and you go out there on your own, like if I was out there right, you know, right now, standing to the right of that sign, there's nothing they can do. Still. So to say that uh, you stopped it in the neighborhood or whatever, you know why there was nobody out there? Because we were at the DA's office. We were at the courthouse. We were meeting with other people. That's why there was nobody at the house. We just let the crackheads sit out there in the Georgia sun while we were sipping on coffee and having a good old day. Okay. We ain't stupid. Y'all ain't getting free content off of us. The only reason people are watching y'all's channels is because of us. So the less you got of us, the less content y'all got. So I hope y'all had a good day. I know you're views were low okay i'm here too thank you so much i'm here too so we went down to the house today also we moved the memorial uh at the babysitter's house to a front porch so we get the story from the weather um so i talk okay nobody cares about old sludge and knuckles that big old fat ass dude he ain't probably wiped his ass in like three years he got a belly dude his belly stick out far in his dick dude you know what i'm saying he ain't seen his feet all right when that dude can see his feet Nobody care, okay? Wipe your fucking your sludge knuckles and the crusty ass elbows you got. You need some dolly ass soap, what you need, all right? Oh damn. Look like you got psoriasis of the face. 
I need some Dolly soap. There you go. Well, I'll be back in a few days. Okay, guys. I got some stuff still. I ain't left Georgia. So everybody thinking, oh, they're gonna run them off. Dolly went to jail. He's gonna leave. No. Uh uh. You know, <laughs> the bonds lady. I went back with the bonds lady today. I got to hold her dog. The dog is who got me out. Okay, just, just a Georgia bulldog named Ruby. I think that's his name, Ruby. But I took some pictures with the bulldog. This had to be the coolest bell bonds place you could ever get to get. Okay, I'm back. It's the damn uh, hotel internet. So give me one second. Yeah, so, you know, the city comes out there today and they put up no loitering signs, right slap dead in the easement of uh, Billy Joe's house, right? So, you know, these people think they scare us away or whatever it may be. So we walk down the street, okay, all of us, me, Betty, Olivia, Molly, a bunch of other people, and Betty, Billy Joe was outside. You see my thumbnail? That's what she looked like, that jaw though, right? I mean, look, trashy is all get up out of here. I mean, you ain't, I mean, there's a whole new level. This is a Zaya trailer park, like, standing out front. Like, I was like, whoa, like, I hope the rates ain't high, because that shit, whoa, right? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go in the house, like, put some damn clothes on. You wearing that damn slutty shit out here like that, right? Just, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is what drugs, drugs will do to you right there, okay? That's why you say no, kids. You go, hell to the nah, 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 because that lady, whoo. So. You know, now Leilani, all the rumors, she's gone. She's back at the house. Eyes. We got eyes on you, Leilani. You think we don't see everything, but we see everything. Okay. Just because we ain't standing in your yard, don't mean we don't see what's going on. Okay. See everything. So I don't know this. The crackhead lady. All right. She is a calm big. Good luck prosecuting me in court, lady. You are a scammer, a liar, a thief. Your criminal record has hit. You know, I tell you one thing, Dolly ain't never been convicted of, and that's still him. Lying, cheating, or stealing, okay? Never. This lady is a thief. She's got multiple convictions from New Jersey to damn uh, Pennsylvania. And it's just a straight con artist. She's been sued by the labor force. She got more mug shots than you can count, okay? And apparently, she ain't good at taking mug shots like Dolly, okay? But they sent some goddamn convict down to Georgia to act like a crackhead ass in front of the media, okay? So, but thank you guys. So, all that media, that little fucking weirdo that's on the news station down here, little fat boy, you know, the only... The only joke is your ass. Nobody watches you on the news. And your fucking cardigan sweater is so tight, it looks like Baby Gap should be wearing it, okay? And wait till I see you. I got some words for you. <laughs> I got some words for you. So, you're, like, the bad thing is nobody watches the news. The YouTube videos are pulling more news, more views than the news. And this done made the news mad. Ah, your news channel sucks. That's why the whole time I was out there, Dolly never gave y'all an interview. Because it's fuck y'all, okay? I don't like the local news around here. Brett, he's pretty cool. The rest of them, yeah, your channel suck. Nobody watches it. Us YouTubers, we don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? I do more views on a weekend than your whole news channel. Uh, but the whole thing about protecting this family, and that's what it seems like these police are doing. Now, I did hear that there's some people in their family that are connected to the police. This might explain some of the, the reasons the police are protecting them. Now, like I did say, I did speak with a couple of the, uh, sergeants today, personally. That'll be coming out on Olivia's video. Y'all get to see where I met with a couple of the sergeants. And I talk about their threats towards me, how they were unprofessional, how I didn't feel safe to these sergeants in this town from them. You know what I'm saying? And believe it or not, we had a good conversation. And they 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 understood my fears and my concerns, right? Because things are being said with my name behind it here in Savannah, okay? Using my name as the pretext to what they're doing, okay? Under a situation where I grab a bullhorn, the police, where the video is out there clearly for everybody to see, where I just grab a bullhorn, Say I grabbed this lady's arm, never touched her arm, okay? They also said I was out there disorderly conduct. I never raised my voice, okay? The charge should have been no more than destruction of property, okay? So, and this lady's a lying fucking convict that was out there threatening people, saying some of the most heinous stuff in the world, okay? So I'm not too worried about that. They didn't even give me a court date. You know, they did even give me a day of court date, and the bondsman came out there and got me absolutely for free. So all these people out here saying I assaulted a woman, you know, a woman got me out of jail. Shout out to the uh, blonde bombshell bail bonds down here in Savannah, Georgia. If you go to jail here, call. Ruby the Bulldog, okay? Bombshell, blonde bombshell bail bondsman. Get yourself out of jail. They're going to get there, get you quick, okay? You might have to take some selfies with the doggy, but the doggy is the coolest fucking doggy in the whole wide world, okay? I almost want to go back to jail so I can pet the dog again, okay? This dog was up there with Lolo. This dog was cool as a bitch. Look, they had a big statue. Like, I know some of you guys are from Savannah. They got this big ass dog statue of a bulldog in the lobby of the bitch, right? It's crazy. The whole office is crazy. I, mean, I took some selfies in there. They got some like chairs and it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, right? They got bars on the window and shit. And they got this big ass rooster. Like, why do I got a big ass cock up in here, right? But they did. So if you're in Savannah and you're a knucklehead like me, okay, every now and then, 
you might just want to grab a bullhorn, okay? And you go to jail in the lovely town of Chatham. Make sure you call them people. They're going to be like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and they're going to get you out. We watched the video. We watched you live. We watched it in slow mo. <laughs> and you grabbed the bullhorn. You never touched that lady, okay? It's clear as fucking day, okay? You grabbed the bullhorn. You didn't break the law. You don't deserve to be in jail. So we decided to come get you out. Now tell me that ain't awesome. That's some Bell Bonds and shit right there. Okay, super cool. Of course, I gave the lo lovely ladies some Dolly soap. Okay, so it did cost me a little bit of Dolly soap, but the one girl did have dry skin. And I said, I'm telling you, you're going to be hooked on the Dolly soap. Okay, so they were happy. I was happy. Everybody's happy. Okay, except for Billy Joe. She's still on meth. Okay, messed out her goddamn life. So, I wanted them to know, I wanted them to see me one more time because, you know, they, they showed the video to the police. And you look at, I guess from their video angle, it's from behind. So the cops thought I grabbed her arm. But of course, thanks to the troll, the soap is pretty good. See, my kid even says it. Dolly soap is the bomb. I don't just make that up. It's the best soap in the game. Leilani fucked up because I brought that soap to give to her. Okay. But they didn't treat me right. They didn't treat me good. They let them crackheads up in the yard. And you know, the crazy thing is, is Billy Joe gets along good with them. I wonder why. Okay. Crimes of the 21st century. Be careful out there. Some very dark energy. So we didn't see the ghost. All right, we done seen the damn grandma that's still shaking her booty on the block. Okay, lady, you're way too old to be doing what you're doing. Okay, put that shit up. Okay, that shit should have been put up at least a good 10, 15 years ago. Okay, back on the shelf, put it back in the cabinet. Um, do you have any soap with you? I'll meet you. Um, ha -ha, let's see. Hey, Rebel, LOL. So, for all them people out there just making up all this crazy shit, thinking all this, and my family's this, and this is this, and this, like they fucking live with me or know me, fuck off. Y'all don't know shit. Okay. And, guys, if I'm going to be back in the studio just here in a few days. So, if you get me merch orders in, like on the soap and stuff, I'm going to get that out to you guys. Give me give me a few days when I get back to the house. You know, I've been down here going crazy with this whole thing in Georgia, okay? Um, but when I get back to the studio, I'll make sure I get everybody's stuff out to you. I know there's been a little bit of delay, but, hey, you can't plan this stuff in Georgia. We didn't know if it was going to go down for a day, if it's going to take a day, if it's going to take a week. It's been three damn weeks, okay? And the police chief, mad. He's mad that Betty has been going upside his head, okay? He is mad. So, you know, he's trying to... He's trying to make up shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not don't, like the police person. Like, I'm not against the police. Ever been against the police. I ain't against, you know, I just want justice for the baby. That's it. I ain't one of them people out there screaming, the police chief. You know what I'm saying? I do think it's a little messed up that he made threats like that and made a joke about my address. You know, I even told the sergeant. So I was like, man, that's a little unnecessary. And it's really unprofessional. You know, I was like, things are heated up out here. There's a lot of emotions. Instead of joking about it, I was like, the police department should have somebody out here. They should keep, 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 keep keeping people safe. Right. And that ain't the case when you're, you know, the police chief's making jokes about it. This ain't really a joking matter that's actually happening, especially when you are the authority and you're what people look to when things are going bad and you're making jokes. Right. Or picking a side. Now you're defending a baby killer. Right. That's what it sounds like. Because when your post sounds like to me is you care more about people screaming in the neighborhood than you do a baby killer. The reason people are screaming in the fucking neighborhood to begin with makes don't make a whole lot of sense to me. But I ain't the police, you know. You shouldn't have named your number one suspect. You didn't have to name any suspect. You didn't have to say shit. But you chose to. And then when the community gets outraged, you go, the YouTubers did it, okay? Since this man assaulted somebody out there, which is clearly on video, I didn't assault anybody, okay? I grab a bullhorn, that's not assault. If I broke a bullhorn, that's destruction of property. It's not assault, right? Are you the DA, right? <laughs> that ain't, the charge ain't even legit. I never touched a lady. She never physically got touched. So I didn't assault anybody. And I damn sure wasn't disorderly. So we'll see how that plays out. But you see that the people down here, whatever they want to go get. I had multiple people show up to get me out. Women, okay? Multiple women showed up to get me out. You think if I was out there beating on a woman, women would come get me out of jail and tell you, you see it even in the video, like, thanks for protecting us, Dolly. Thanks. You remember I was sitting down in the chair when that lady was getting all in the lady's face? And that, these ladies out here, these locals, that lady, a convict, ain't going to let her put her hands on them or hit her with her car or threaten those ladies like that. Hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell the judge the same damn thing. If the police would have been out there protecting people, I wouldn't have to get up to protect people. And like I told the sergeants today, right, when I met with the sergeants, which is on camera, I said, if I wanted to assault that lady, there was nothing between us but air. Well, I was like, y'all know, if I wanted to hit that lady, I would have hit her, right? I didn't want to assault that lady, right? I was like, if y'all out here doing your job and keeping people safe, I wouldn't have had to do none of that shit, okay? But they're not. They'd rather just get called 50 times and ride back and forth than taking Jeffrey Dahmer to one little fucking young cop and setting him out there and say, okay, make sure the crowd stays cool. Okay, it's heated right now. This is a serious situation. They probably should have eyes on the house anyway with their number one suspect being in the house. So what's it going to hurt to put one of your beat cops out here to make sure nobody gets hurt, to make sure people ain't out here doing that shit? They could have kept that calm. They could have kept this whole situation calm from the very beginning. 
Why? I have no clue. I don't run the law. I mean, if I could sit down with the chief, I'd, I'd be cool with him. I'd be like, look, man, this is probably what I would suggest, right? I don't know if you listen to my dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? He might be, fuck you, dude, and cuff me up and throw me in the back somewhere. But I would just say, man, you, you could have been cool with me. Like, look, this is active investigation. We don't know. Everybody's a suspect right now. Like they do in every other case, right? Detective Haley or whatever, Hadley, why some true crime, man? This, you could have walked away and been like, I don't know, man. We, we, we looking at all leads and all avenues. Nobody would have been in front of the house. You wouldn't have YouTubers showing up. You wouldn't have had none of this. You could have just called me for advice. I'd have gave it to you for free. I'd have been like, look, man, I don't, don't say that shit. Somebody should have told you, right? As a friend, a friend should have up like your colleague that's trying to get you voted out so they can take your job. They probably should have bumped you and said, look, man, don't, you know, let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that guy. I don't care what the police do. As long as you ain't arresting me and fucking with me and making things up on me. But the good thing about that was, yeah, you may have made some things up. The officer that arrested me saying, you seen me grab her arm? Well, you know, you weren't a body camera. All right, when we go to court, you're going to have to play that body camera. You saying, I seen you grab her arm. Then I'm going to play a video where I never touch her arm. Okay. That's what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. That's exactly how it's going to play out. And then I'm going to say, show me one video or any evidence you have that I raised my voice, that I was screaming, that I did anything disorderly. There ain't. It's on video. You know what I'm saying? So right there, the officer lied. Or unknowing to him, from that angle, it looked like, hold on. Oh, okay. So anyway, like I was saying, so I have no thought in my mind. If everybody down here has watched it, they're going to drop that. If, if, if they bring it to court. Okay. You got to remember that lady also assaulted somebody down here too. So when she comes down to go to court against me, most likely she will be arrested. Okay. We, she has a little bit of a criminal past and that includes this year for theft and shoplifting. So them crackheads out there, Billy Joe, or thieves. Wait a minute. And hookers and you kind of a hooker. I don't know. They get along really good, okay? And that's the weird thing. That's the weird thing. Shout out to my viewers, man. So many cool turtles. I went out to dinner tonight with some turtles, okay? They took me out to dinner, had me a nice... I had another stop eating a lot of steak down here. Y'all been taking good care of Dolly. I'm gonna gain damn 20 pounds being in Georgia. I've been eating this good. I mean, really good. Everybody's like, let me take you to dinner. Let me take you to dinner. You know me. I'm like, hell yeah, take me to dinner. I just... I eat. I never turn down a meal. You want to get close to Dolly, be like, hey, Dolly, take you to dinner. I'm like, yo, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So I went to this nice ass seafood place today. I don't eat seafood. So, but they do. The people took me. And I got steak and uh, some little red potatoes. Thing. But the coolest shit was this, right? They got this deck. You know, I call myself the Turtle King. But I think I'm officially the Turtle King now, for sure. I walk out on this deck. I see some turtles across the lake. This is no lie. I can't make this shit up. I'm like, here, little turtles. And I'm like, like calling the turtles. The damn turtles swim to me. No lie. I can't make this shit up. I was like, they just all swam up to me. It was like, Leonardo, Raphael, it was like like 10 turtles. They just all came to me. Like, and I was on the deck of this restaurant and I was like, that's just the craziest shit, right? I was like, maybe I am the turtle king, right? Damn turtles came to me, like dogs. Like I was like, yeah, the turtle, turtle, this came up to me. I was like, that's weird. Right? I ain't never called a turtle that came before. Them damn Georgia turtles, you call them, they be coming right up to you. I'm like, yeah, what's up, turtle? Man. I met a bunch of cool turtle fans and some real turtles, okay? So I got me some good grub on tonight. So like I said, we walked down the street because we didn't want to thank these people by putting me in jail. They scared us off, any, not even close. We just had a lot of shit to do today that concerned meeting with police, DAs, things of that nature, okay? So we, at the end, we finish up our day. So we go out to Buckhalter. This is what you guys ain't seen on video yet, but you will get to see it on Olivia's, probably Olivia's first. Um, we come down the street, and in the thumbnail, you see Billy Joe is dressed like you see in the thumbnail, okay? So you ain't seen the thumbnail, check out the thumbnail, okay? So as we're coming down the street, of course, it's me, Betty, Molly, Olivia. Uh, I can't even remember who else was with us, a few locals. Um, and Billy Joe runs into the backyard. The big bad Billy Joe runs. I mean, she almost broke a heel trying to get away. You know what I'm saying? She was getting away bad as she could. She seen us coming. She was like, oh no. She thought the whole no loitering sign that ended it all. She's like, oh, the miracle. No loitering. Like, that's going to end your nightmare? No, lady. You live in this community. The whole community don't like you. You can't go to Walmart. You go to the gas station. People are cussing you out, flicking you off. Everybody in the area hates your fucking guts. You're going to have a rough time in this community from now on. Like, the locals are already talking about shunning you already the sad thing is is there was people that didn't want us to leave that felt safer with us being in that neighborhood felt protected by us being in that neighborhood now they're a little scared and that's a shame right i mean i even broke it down to the police today i was like look man i feel like y'all might plant something on me y'all might do something messed up y'all already you know your police have already lied on me to arrest me they said they seen me grab his lady's arm i never touched anybody's arm okay clearly on video you see me grab the bullhorn and the batteries fly out of it Never touched a lady, never one finger. 
ever even touched her. Not even a beard hair flew off and hit her. Nothing. So you please lied. You know, they said they seen me grab her arm. They had never touched her arm. So I don't see how anything's going to go. Me going to jail over that. They put me in jail for grabbing a damn bullhorn. Oh, well, I'll take the time, okay? When there's a missing baby, 20 months old, that's in a fucking landfill, and you disgusting ass people are up there hugged up with the people that did this to this baby. If I was you guys, I would unsubscribe to any of those channels. Every last one of them. I would go, boop, unsubscribe to them. Because if really, as one of my viewers, if you're watching disgusting people like that, this probably ain't the place for you. We like to keep Dolly Vision good people, good vibes, good times. Okay? Them other people that have two channels a day, I couldn't take anymore. Turtles. That's what I'm saying. They think that they can crush me and their magically channels are not going to suck. No. Even if you crush me and I left the internet today, your channels would still suck. Okay? I can't change that. That is not my fault. I was born great. Okay? God, God looked down and he said, that's the dude right there. That's the man. You know, he picked me and he picked Ric Flair. Okay? I can't help who little baby Jesus pick. All right? They had choices to make. They were like, Dolly, Ric Flair. It was blow me up. Okay? Do so, you know how many people came up to me on the streets of downtown Savannah today to take pictures? I couldn't believe it. I'm like, I'm not used to people recognizing me at all. You know, I used to be able to go anywhere. Ain't nobody going, Dolly! Like, when I'm walking down the street, people ain't usually screaming my name and people jumping out of fucking cars. People are like, hey, coming up, and people I ain't never seen. Like, can I take a picture with you? I'm like, yeah, I seen you on the news, man. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, are you the dude? I'm like, yeah, that's me, man. Unfortunately, that's me. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but yeah. So all they did is have more people know about who Dolly is. Because once you shit talk me, people got to see for themselves, right? So when them haters are shit talking me, people go, well, let me check them out and see what the dude's about. Then when they get over here, they're like, dude, this dude's fucking all right, right? This fucking channel ain't as lame. He's a pretty fucking cool dude that actually gets out and does shit, right? Instead of like, you get a little bit of everything at Dolly. You get me talking shit like them. You get me on location. You get me this fucking everything. They keep getting none of that, right? They're like kicking wing and Joe Dirt. The first one, remember when he only had sparklers and fucking snakes? That's what their YouTube channels are. Sparklers and snakes. They ain't got no bottle rockets. They ain't got no shit that goes boom, boom, boom. Right? And that's what Dolly. We like, die no my, right? And you can't be mad at me for that, haters. Right? Get your weight up. Not your hate up, okay? Because every move y'all make to try to destroy me, this makes me bigger, badder, stronger, and just ha -ha, laughing at you. Like, y'all ain't gave up yet? Y'all ain't gave up yet? Come on. I'm ready. Blow the phone up. Definitely use your mugshot on merch. I don't know, who the hell wants to walk around my mugshot on? Which mugshot? I got so many of them, okay? I'm a little bit of an outlaw. I'm a heck. So how many of these YouTubers are sending out crackheads? I guess two of them, you know? We got a couple of them sending out the crackheads. Did the meth lady pay the $75 to file a complaint? I bet she didn't have $75. That thieving ass lady ain't got no $75. I mean, that dirty-ass lady that was trying to uh, blow BK, she's the one that had her out there. You know, the one with the dirty knees spit from BK's garage? Old hurt lip? That that chick, oh, with the one with fake teeth, fake boobs, you know, old fake-ass lady? She sent them out there. <laughs> that shows you. Look look at the people she sent. Because it's the same trash she is. All right, trash sends trash. And trash don't know nothing but trash. You got some thieves. You got some scammers. Connect it to you, lady. You look like shit. And wash your feet. Your feet are just fucking dirty. That's nasty. Can you imagine Joe in the middle of the night when her feet touch her? She just reaches over with them pterodactyl glass feet and she just brushes up against his leg and rips the skin off of it? That shit is nasty. You need help, lady. Hit them shits with a fire hose. Just <laughs> pressure washer like fucking 240 PSI just right on your fucking toenails. Get down up in there. That is, um, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. Fucking shoes probably hate you. You gotta put your shoes on and bitch and run off. Where's my shoes? They weren't being assholes. They weren't trying to put nobody in jail. They were like, look, these are the ordinance, and look, we got to enforce it. Starting that. They, <laughs> the ordinance have been on the books, but they want to enforce these ordinance thinking, you know, it's going to do away with the YouTubers. But here's the thing. Everybody already knew that Molly and them, they were only in town to the fifth. Okay? Now, Dolly, I drove. I, I float around wherever I want. That's why I'm saying. I got eyes. When you think Dolly ain't around, Dolly's around. When you don't see Dolly, Dolly's doing something. When you don't see us around, you, that's when you worry. When you see us, you know where we're at. You know what we're doing. When you don't see us, you don't got a clue. And sometimes we can't tell you everything or what's going to go down or when it's going to go down. And as you see, we, we got hecklers, okay? Because that's what them crackhead women are that are out there. They're the hecklers, all right? We're out here for justice and a reason. These women didn't even know baby Quentin's name. They didn't even know his name. How the hell you show up at a family's house of a 20-month-old missing kid and you don't know the kid's name? They're out there saying the kid didn't exist. They ain't there for the kid. Like, what the hell are you there for then? Why would you be there? Everybody else is here for that kid. What are these people there for? To stream us being there for the kids? And harass us? No, I don't think so. I'm going to sit out there and disrespect your fucking grandson that's missing, that may be dead, okay? They're literally out there talking shit about your grandbaby. 
We are out there fighting for your grandbaby. Fighting with you. That's how much fighting we're doing, Billy Joe. These people got you fucking twisted up. Like Cher, that lady's a scam artist. She's never planned on coming to Savannah, okay? It's not going to happen. She can't get in the fucking Savannah if she wanted to. It's just a way to take money from people, okay? She hustles the same way in the summer well shit. These people are never leave their desk. I know that because I've watched it. It's like, how many people I've seen leave their desk? How many people get up and walk away from this camera? Not very many of them. But every last one of them sit there and talk shit and take money and talk about anybody else that takes money. If you want to talk shit about people, about money and things, don't have a super chat, give up your super chat. Give up your ad revenue, okay? When you got to buy cameras, microphones, pay a light, but you know what I'm saying? Give up all that shit before you say something about somebody else. Wait. Okay? Dolly, good dude. Dolly, do the right thing. You pieces of shit or something else. You know? And, and when in the end, good always wins. So I don't never have to worry about any of you people ever defeating me. Right? I will never fear you people. I'll never be scared of you people. You will never fucking stop me. This is as simple as that. Well, I fit in pretty good down here. Okay? So I'm going to stay and hang out for a little bit, see how this stuff plays out. And then we're going to work our way back down the coast and have some fun until we get back to good old VA. All right.